Hello, it's Debs here, and as always, it's really good to have you with me. I'm going to be sharing you, with you today my story about overcoming my money stuff, because I, I really love being asked questions and then answering them with a video. And the other day, someone asked me to share my story of overcoming my money blocks. So here goes, here we are. So when I came across the three principles, which for me, that was the door into my spiritual awakening journey, I was in a terrible mess in lots of ways. Uh, you know, my whole life was a mess. And money was certainly one area that I wasn't where I wasn't doing well. But that paled into insignificance next to the problems I was having in my relationships. I was rubbish in relationships. As I said that, the next sentence what I was going to say was that I was quite good at friendships, but um, if I, in, at the same moment, it actually came into my head that I I actually wasn't. The truth is, even my friendships were more about people pleasing than having true friends. I wasn't even good in that arena. My romantic relationships were a mess. My parenting were ter was terrible. I'm sure you get the picture. I was so ready to change in that area so I soaked up the principles I soaked up what I was learning and hearing about being a spiritual being on a human journey I soaked up what I was understanding about how my mind worked that we create our reality um, through the thinking that we're having that the thinking that we believe that we live in the feeling of what we are thinking and that our feelings are giving us information about what's going on in our mind, not about what other people are doing and, and what's going on outside. All of that, I soaked that up like a sponge and it really worked. I changed and so did my life. I got really, really good at relationships, all kinds and any kinds of relationships. Um, and I really started to see that life was about relationships, you know, how we related. Business is about relationships. Um, everything, you know, how we are, how we show up in anything, it's all about relationships. So the years rolled on and um, things just kept getting better as I had more insights and those insights kept were then, you know, integrated into my life. I just, they kept coming and, and life was good. But as things got better, the place where they weren't so good, my blind spot, if you like, became more and more obvious and started to really stand out because I clearly still had a blind, a blind spot around money and I couldn't see what I was doing wrong until I could. <laughs> and, and things got really bad, like really bad. And I was forced to, to look in, in the same way as with my relationships, things got really bad before I found the courage to look at what was going on, what I was doing, what was happening with me. And to be fair, it was the same with my money situation. Things got really bad. And at, at some point I was forced to look at what it was or wasn't that I was doing. And this time, as soon as I looked, I saw it. It happened much more quickly this time because I'd been down this route once. I trusted it. As soon as I accepted it, as soon as that I admitted it to myself, things started changing pretty quickly. And that's, um, I really started to, to see, like after, when things had changed a lot for me, when I'd started to see through this, that's when I saw that I could condense a lot of what I've been sharing, that I could what I had seen around my relationships, it was much easier to talk about it in a much more succinct way. Um, and the the recent problem solving adventure that the free problem solving adventure that I did, that was definitely off the back of, of a lot of this learning. That's how that came about. And I saw that pretty much everything with it, that I had you know everything that I'd seen in my relationships I'd seen it pretty much everywhere with the exception of my finances that I was prepared to turn to the divine spark within me that I was prepared to look at this from a spiritual perspective I was prepared to look to God 
but money had seemed different to me. Um, and because it had seen diff seemed different, I had made it different. And so it was different. I was having a different experience of money. I was having an experience of it as being something outside of my spiritual nature, this um, divine spark, this divine divine mind, you know, mind in the three principles. I, I was having an experience of it as if um, everything that I had learned wasn't true about it um, and so different that this was the place that I really messed up so when I began to see it I decided to go all in and do the exact same things with my money as I'd done in my relationships and to my surprise well I, I don't know by then maybe it wasn't a surprise but anyway to my surprise and delight it worked and it really worked and it started to change really quickly as I said I'd already got a track record with my relationships I'd seen as soon as you look in the opposite direction however tempting it is to believe that they work outside in this is that it's just not true they work this is always bring it back to you this is no matter what it appears someone else is doing bring it back to you and I saw this well I decided to go all in and treat money as if it was the same um, and yeah like quicker than I'd even imagined it turned round and I guess the bare bones of this in this video the bare bones to change are if you have a problem no matter what that problem is you have a, dis a divine spark within you that you know divine mind is yours and if you realize that divine mind and turn to it for answers go inwards not outwards as we are so apt to do especially in areas where we're struggling then everything will change for you so what do i mean by going inwards i mean certainly in here when I'm talking about this what I see an, an, an easier way to say that because I know that in my spiritual journey when people would say go inwards I could be like well what is inwards I don't I don't get it I don't know what it I don't know what you're pointing me towards so what I see with this when I go inwards I think about what that divine power is what divine mind is what is my divine spark who what is God I think about it and I get really interested in it and I Feel, to me the words I would use is I feel and I touch God when I think about it in that way and the truth of this is if you really start to understand what I'm saying what I'm pointing to you here pointing you to you can not only solve all your own problems and I mean all any problems there are no problems I you know since I found out that money isn't outside of this I see yeah that was my crazy mind making it into something different there is nothing that is outside of this but not only will you be able to solve all of your problems you'll be able to do more than anyone with a whole heap of money and resources can do to solve the worldwide problems we're facing at the moment this stuff honestly is genius in action it is really simple but it is pure genius in action um, the pure genius of your divine spark the divine spark of creation the stuff that created this vast universe that we live in we're not talking about some insignificant power here and the best thing about it is if you if you actually do this if you listen to this video and you actually do this to help yourself to genuinely help yourself not screw someone else over or take something from someone else that isn't yours but if you use the power that is within you to help yourself then a byproduct of this to if you are genuinely you know from your heart doing something to be helpful to yourself then you will help other people too um that's how it works and you can't you can't not do that no matter you, know, you don't have to do what i'm doing and sharing videos if you just genuinely want to create art or create um 
something beautiful, have a, have a, a nice relationship, create something great within your family, cook nice dinners for the people that you love. It doesn't matter whether you want, whether you do want to save the world and do something that big or whether you just want to be a, a better person than the person you are now. If you genuinely look in this direction to help yourself to do that, you will change the world. And <laughs> if you are interested in diving more deeply into, into this with me, I'm going to be, the only thing I'm ever going to do is point you back to your own inner power to help you find what you have already within you. I haven't got anything that you haven't got except maybe a deeper understanding of it that I really, really want to share. But if it's money or relationships or health, and let's face it, those three things pretty much cover any everything and any problem we can have. If it's any of these things and you want to find your inner divine power and see mind blowing changes within yourself and for yourself, then you'll find everything you need to know about in the videos I've been making, the videos that I'm going to keep making um, and sharing. But if you actually want my help and you want to, to, to dive deeper with me there'll be links under this video to my website to ways that you can work with me and, and in the description below this video feel free to comment and feel free to get in touch with me so take care have a great day and yeah do something nice <laughs> I will see you soon bye